Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So far we saw what was the Amazon Elastic Block Store EBS and the different types of uh, EBS. So in today's video, let's see uh, where all places are this EBS used or what are the usages of EBS. So uh, there are six different usage. Uh, obviously there are even more, but in this video we'll just uh, have the scope of only six usages where it's most predominantly used. So let's begin. So first of all, uh, EBS is used in databases. So uh, it deploy a kind of relational database like you have the Oracle, the Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, etc. And this is possible by the scaling uh, feature that's provided by the EBS that is scale up or scale down in a more efficient way. Uh, by that you can scale your databases and all these that is uh, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server and MySQL can be included in that. Next, uh, we talk about the applications for various uh, small, medium or large enterprises. So uh, EBS features uh, meet the organization needs like uh, EBS has many different features uh, which the organization uh, might uh, postulate in their uh, requirement or the proposal. So with that they can uh, provide even more reliable storage service for even more larger volumes for even more longer duration for a more tenure. Uh, next, uh, we have the NoSQL systems. So uh, with this uh, EBS, you can actually create uh, NoSQL systems. So uh, with the consistent feature it provides and the high performance and with the low latency, you can create a NoSQL system uh, with the help of EBS. Uh, next, fourth, you have the development and the test environment. So all the kind of agile testing and the developments which takes place uh, can be made with the help of provisioning, duplication and scalability which all features are provided by the EBS in all the different patterns which it exhibits like uh, the key value pair, the structure as well as for the block storage. Uh, next moving on we have continuing the business so it's very crucial that any business when it comes to stake uh, it has to uh, look for its processes where and all which are parts it's properly functioning or not. So EBS enables a continued business process. So regular data backup facilities, which is provided by the EBS, prevents any loss of data and the recovery time uh, to get it back to continue the business process. So uh, these are the major uh, advantage provided by the EBS for continuing any business process in an organization. Uh, next we have the file workloads. So file system creation facility by the EBS like in the types of EBS we saw the general purpose EBS, the provisional EBS and the magnetic EBS. So those EBS are used for different kinds of applications like some are used for uh, highly CPU intensive applications, some are used for uh, medium sized and so on. So for that you have different different workloads and for handling different different workloads you have the EBS designed for it as well. So it handles large workloads of files as in uh, when your requirement is met. So well that was a small uh, recap or uh, introduction regarding the applications of EBS. So hope you guys enjoyed this video for you got educated watching this video. Please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.